So the next technique will be a wet on wet. And what I'm doing is I have some various different colors. I have a cream, I have the golden yellow, orange. I actually have some magenta down here that we'll use as well. But in this particular technique, in order to get a nice smooth finish, again, I dip my brush in the fabric medium and I'm just gonna come over and apply it a very thin coat, actually, I don't need a lot. I'm just dipping my brush and bringing it over, but I'm getting as much of the fabric colored with the, or painted with the fabric medium so that my surface now has a nice coat so that when I apply the other colors, blending will be much smoother. So it's kind of a contrast to what I did over here. So let's start out first. We'll dip our brush into the cream and just put a very, very, very light coat. Now, with this, something like this, if you wanted to coat your entire area first, that's okay too, because this is a very, very pale, pale color. And I really strongly suggest that you get this color down first because that's gonna dictate really how dark you want everything else. Now I like again that nice, very kind of delicate, pale, pale yellow look. And now I'm gonna go for the um, golden yellow. Now I want really, I want as little, I want just, just keep working this until you've got just barely amount on your brush. And I like to start a fair distance away, like an inch and a half away from my edge and start applying this because as you can see, it goes on fairly strong. But what we're going to do is we're again, we'll work this color back and forth until we get just a very pale rendition. Now, what's happening here? You see that darkness. Well, that's probably because I still probably had way too much color on there and the stabilizer is actually picking up the color. Don't worry about that. That will actually go away once it's dry. But now what you can see is even though I bring this into the little bow area, it's quite a bit lighter and won't come all the way to the ornament, but I'm leaving maybe about, oh, a half an inch around it. Um, you can certainly bring that closer if you'd like. As you do, of course, the color just gets paler and paler. Now, last but not least, let's dip it into the orange. And here again, get as little and, as, and squish off Squish off, that's a, that's a technical term, by the way. Get as much of the paint off of the brush as possible. And once again, oh, perfect, look at that. Look at that nice light color that you're getting. Oh, this looks so much better than the other that we did earlier. And I'm actually gonna bring this orange, since it's so pale, really work it into the layer of golden yellow. Um, ah, wow. So this is, this is a good effect. I'm very happy with this. Now let's say you did want to add a tiny bit of red. I'll show you what I'm going to do here. And it, it comes down to trying to, because this red is so strong, just use just a drop. All right, maybe two drops. But even at that, I'm not even going to use that much. And just like we did earlier, I'm just grabbing ever so little bit. Um, don't really want a whole lot at the tip, but just enough to come in and work it. And just work it back and forth. Work it, work it, work it away. Maybe come down slightly down here just to kind of give that curved glow effect. And let me just zoom in here a bit so that you can see. Now, at this point in time, I think what I would probably do is I would grab a clean brush like this and go over it. And look what happens. You're picking up some of that excess color, 
but it's also blending really, really well. And again, don't worry about the little, you know, this happens sometimes with the um, stabilizer underneath. And if you don't want, want to take the risk of that, you can pull the stabilizer away. I'm, I'm not too uptight about it. I'm, I'm good with it. But you'll see what happens with a dry brush. You're picking up the excess so that the overall effect is certainly better than this. So again, this is wet with wet, a technique that actually is one of my favorites. I mean, I like this technique down here. I can control it, and I like this technique up here, but you can see you're getting two different types of effect with it, particularly when you want to bring in a contrasting color.